Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shraddha. I'm an artist painting in oil paints and I'm here to make you aware of the art world, the things going on in here, the researches, studies, present and history. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the panels used by old masters and some of the panel making techniques. So let us get started. Watch this video till the end because I'm going to show you some of the paintings done on the panels. For panel making over the centuries, many different species of woods have been used with each geographical region favoring certain woods, depending upon the ease of availability and the fashion at that time. For example, Northern Germany and Holland were using oak, while those in Southern Germany were preferring pine, pear, linden, ash, whereas in America, cottonwood and mahogany were imported from Europe to use as supports. Constructions of wooden support was the responsibility of a specialized artisan or craftsmen who would prepare the panel sometimes even before the artist was chosen according to the specifications given by the client. In some of the more complex paintings, artists and craftsmen will be working together wherein artists will be giving the directions in making of the support. Sometimes artists will have their own carpenters and they will use the same carpenter in making the panel for different paintings. Whereas in Spain, from 15th to 18th centuries, contracts were given for painting. Contracts were complex documentation with subcontracts in them. For example, well, in some cases, artists will take the responsibility of the large uh, job of painting starting from the panel making and all the other things and then he will subcontract it to other specialists in these contracts they would mention the type of wood the seasoning of the wood the time limit and the costs as well in some of the contracts it was mentioned if in case anything happens to the painting for six months after the installation the artist will be responsible and he will have to take care of all the matters at his own expense <gasps> clearly the top quality material was required in making of the substrate in such a legal environment sometimes different contracts were given to carpenter and the artist to paint the painting uh, let us talk about the ground layers ground layers is the first layer after the panel great care was taken while preparing Preparing these ground layers which were made with glue, cloth and gessos. The cloth was generally made up of large pieces overlapping all together and it was not just done on the panel but also the frame in which the painting was going to sit. Uh, in the later years cloth was replaced by parchment and vegetable fibers mixed with glue. But for the cloth showed the best results. Uh, in case of wood movements, it will get detached from the wood along with the ground layers and the paintings and keep the paintings intact. Whereas vegetable fibers and the parchment did not perform that well. In Spain, the gessos were formulated as anywhere else. They were made up of calcium carbonate and calcium sulfate. In Spain, in addition to the panels, they will sometimes use hemp or linen cloth. The front sides will be covered entirely with the linen or at the back they normally used to cover the joints, the knots or any defects in the panels and this was done prior to the application of gesso. As I have already mentioned in Italy poplar was very famous for panel making because of its homogeneity and dimensional stability in presence of moisture variations. It is lightweight and easy to dry and process as well. Let us now talk about the sawing patterns and the arrangement of the growth rings. There were two types of wood cuttings. First was a radial cut and the tangential cut. This figure shows what is a radial cut and what is a tangential cut. The radially cut wood as compared to tangentially cut wood shows very less cupping that is the bending of the wood because of moisture changes. And also there are other advantages. Widest panel can be obtained when cut from a wood log but the disadvantage is if cut radially lot of wood will get wasted. Defects like knot holes and cavities were plugged with a paste made of glue and sawdust. Let us talk about the seasoning of the wood. What is seasoning? Seasoning is drying of the wood after it has been cut. In some of the contracts in Spain, they will also mention the drying time of the wood. Sometimes it will be between 2 to 10 years. At the time of manufacturing or painting on the wood, the golden rule of glass states that the equilibrium moisture content of the wood should be equal to the moisture content in the environment. When the seasoning wasn't done properly, there were gaps between the panels over the years. Let us talk about how do they join the two panels. Sometimes they will be using cheese glue or casein. Both of these glues have to be applied very hot. The boards are arranged in different patterns or different arrangements 
to make the surface for paintings for example cross beams where the back of the panel will be joined by a long log arranged in a crossed pattern nailed cross beams where they will be using iron nail whereas in glue cross beams only the glue, glue was used to make those crosses as i have promised at the beginning of the video here are some of the paintings which are done by uh, the old masters on the panel What is the conclusion of this video as you can see that the artists were very knowledgeable about their entire craft starting from the panel making to the painting techniques so i am here to make you aware of the things that went into making of these uh, panels and uh, we should also know about our craft as well in my next video i will talk about what we can use in this era that is what substrate we can use if we want to paint on wood or if we want to have a very smooth uh, surface to paint on i hope you liked this video and you got some insight into the panel making techniques used by old masters and uh, please subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge about the art history and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye